wherever you want to go, even with no hands. And again, keep in mind, I'm only using one piece of the pie. If you add all the other pieces, then it's just incredible the control you have, in which case, I'll go kite up the sand here. So that's another technique. Yeah. Wow, yeah, look at that. Yeah, baby. <laughs> wow. Nice. No, oh. no. Uh, <laughs> nice so cool. Left, right, left, right, lean, load. I'm coming, Dad. <laughs> I'm coming, Todd. I'm coming. <laughs> Troy, you stay to the left of us and he'll stay to the right. Look at that. Look at that. That's the dream. That's awesome. That's the ultimate form of fun. That's awesome. ways to go up the hill. One is I can hold the glider on stall point in front of me, which is what I've been doing. Two, I can drop the glider sideways and use directional lift. So for number two, I put the glider sideways. Well, first I got to get to the hill here. Oops. That's one where I stall the glider. Put the glider sideways and make it look really direct. for when the, the wind is coming more sideways. If the wind is straight in, I generally do the first one, which is saw it forward. Now, the other one is kind of the same as the first one, but I do it with the one-handed, and so I pull it into stall point, but with this technique, I have the A's to prevent the stall, and so I can hold it on stall point. But there's a little too much wind for that one, that one's more of a light wind technique because you're literally holding it on stall point with one hand, which takes a lot of physical effort. So at higher winds, I usually use the brakes to hold it on stall point. If I go up with the glider above me, I'll get yanked off the hill backwards. So if I do it wrong and I try and go up the hill with the glider above me, that doesn't work so good because it's constantly trying to lift me off the hill. And if I get any gust at all, it should pick me up right off the hill. We go, full little brakes. See, I can't, I can't go. It's constantly trying to fly me backwards off the hill. That's why I have to put the glider on stall point. 
So, fly one handed. So I pull brakes and I put the glider right up to stall point or even stall it so that it drags me up the hill. The glider's in front of me instead of beside me. Now there's a reason that's so funky that you can't see uh, and the reason is is the wind is not going that way so when you get on that hill the wind goes up the hill so think about the wind blowing at my glider this direction the glider literally wants to point into the wind and so the glider tries to dive down into the wind and so it'll rip you off the hill uh, if you're not ready for it this way correct yeah because yeah, it's trying to make yeah. your glider fly forwards off the hill because the air is going that way now as soon as you get on top of the hill the wind is going that way again and so once I get up on top I can then safely bring the glider back above me without getting yanked off the hill as long as I hold enough brakes to keep myself slow enough from not going forward. So that's why I need to do the stall thing where I almost stall the glider all the way up. So lots of brakes, bring it down into the stall point, past the stall point, right there, stall. Once I'm up, it'll stay up. But on the hill, it will not stay up. Now, if I want to fly to the right, just dive the glider to the right. Fly to the right, and I jump. Good, stay in the left hand. moment you're about to touch down you need to turn the glider quickly back into the wind same with on the hill so if I turn that way I'm gonna be going 30 miles an hour you don't want to land on the side of a hill doing 30 miles an hour so you'll see when I get to the end and I need to land I will immediately whip the glider back into the wind come to a complete stop and set down light as a feather so kind of watch that one because it's the same thing we're doing kiting on the ground. That's why when you get the glider sideways, it accelerates you. So if you start getting drugged sideways, whip the glider back into the wind. And we will show you. to a complete stop because it's going into the wind not sideways crosswind the uh sorry not quite cute enough ah, <laughs> <damn it boy. laughs> uh, there you go so it's the exact same thing when we're kiting when you're getting drugged sideways all you got to do is whip the glider back into the wind this time watch how hard i pull the brake to whip that glider back into the wind I was, I was showing uh, Lee there, but let's show you. So watch how hard I pull that one brake. Yeah. And 
boom, I just yank that brake and make that glider whip back into the wind. You can be a lot more aggressive than you really realize. You can, you can stuff a brake as long as you don't hold it stuffed. So I can bury the brakes, and as long as I don't hold it buried, the glider doesn't stall. If I hold it there for one second, boom, it's gonna stall. So you can use a lot of brakes as long as you don't hold it there for any amount of time. So if you're going sideways, right before you touch down, you whip the glider exactly back into the wind so that you land at a stop instead of sideways at 30 miles an hour. Very, very important. So you can see my foot drags. I can come in sliding sideways, but before I actually land, I turn back into the wind. So just like Troy just did, I land just light as a feather at almost, a, you know, like a walking speed. Just nothing to it. Okay, last one. All right, playing around too much. very difficult and dangerous because remember when I'm going up that hill you see me stalling the yeah, glider yeah, that's what you never want to stall the glider behind yourself so do you, you normally if you're gonna be like just oh, rip soaring yeah. on this you would walk up the forward and then you'd spin around that is correct fly forward. yeah I can go up backwards but it's you have to be very very careful so let's give it a try here so now I'm reverse cross controlling Ready? No, 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 no,
Um, no. looks okay. What is that called? Paraglider. 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 Yeah. Great. It's called fun. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. All right, let's do some kiting. So on those little, uh, little dunes like that, is it easier to, uh, is it more efficient kiting forward or backward? Oh, you would always do it reverse forward. It's very, very difficult. If you saw how unstable I was, because you're walking fighting, backwards not up fighting, the hill. I guess, but it's just soaring. Well, it's like walking up a ladder backwards. You know, imagine yeah. walking, or excuse me, yeah, walking up yeah. a ladder backwards. Yeah, I, I guess I don't mean going up the hill, but once you're up there and you're soaring. Well, then efficient? you definitely would prefer to be yeah. forwards More efficient. if you're not going to land going backwards. Okay. So, like, if I want to land on that hill, I don't exactly want to come in and then fly backwards into the ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's much easier to fly forwards okay, so facing. Go down to the ground. Yes, yeah, so you can yeah. see what's going on because you're you. looking the direction okay. you're going. Okay. So if I was going to fly away from the hill, then I would definitely turn around and do like I did when Troy flew. When I when we flew out this way, for sure you're going to look forwards because you you're going forwards. Yeah. So it depends on which direction I plan on going and landing. If I was on the same wing as you, I'd probably go not yeah. it's all skill baby <laughs> sorry son you want another go at it no. <laughs> all right yeah, come on lee take this one 